Uh, thank you very much, Presiding Officer. It is, of course, right that this Parliament collectively recognises the global campaign 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence, which highlights the brutality that women across the world still face. But yet, it is also with a sense of regret that we have to do so at all. That in itself ensures a spotlight is on what remains of the most difficult challenges facing our society, both here in Scotland and throughout the world. Violence perpetrated by, against women by men. Of course, it's not all men in any way, but we examine the underlying causes of such violence so we can prevent it. We must change the everyday sexism and misogyny in society here and elsewhere, which can help perpetuate violence or support people to look away when they should speak up. And that is where we are seeing a shift in society now. Men are recognising that they have a role to play to stand against violence against women and girls, to change the way they behave and to call out behaviour amongst other men. Men's silence can feel unsupportive or even condoning of the violence that women and girls experience. As the philosopher Paolo Freer says, washing one's hands of the conflict between the powerful and the powerless means to side with the powerful, not to be neutral. Presiding officer, it's vital that men speak out. We need men to lead by example to their friends, their family, their children. So I say to men, we need you to reflect on your past experiences. We need you to reflect on the times you may have inadvertently been permissive about misogynistic values because of the way it was framed as a joke or maybe just banter. We need to look critically about how the power imbalance has impacted those who we know and love. And we need you to carry these messages proactively to the men around you. Men must take the lead in this challenge. They hold a unique place in changing their peers, even when it is challenging their peers, even when it, is, uh, it might be uncomfortable. Believe me, that discomfort is less damaging than being a victim of violence. This is what is refreshing about Police Scotland's That Guy campaign. It's an excellent example of men st standing up to be counted. The campaign challenges casual sexism and encourages self-reflection, urging men to take responsibility for their actions and those of their peers to help affect a culture change to tackle sexual crime against women. The current phase asks men to challenge their friends' behaviour, talking openly to male friends about behaviour that is damaging to women. First launched in October 2021, the online campaign has been viewed more than six million times globally and has been ad adapted for use in countries worldwide.